What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. Well VeChain is kind of taking the world by storm at this point. Everyone on YouTube and everyone within the Twitter space is talking about this VeChain rally that is currently up since March 16th over 92%. So in today's video I'm going to take a look at what's going on in the short term, what's going on in the midterm, and how I am playing this thing as I do think that there are more gains on the way but there may be a little bit of turbulence that we need to start to anticipate. So with that being said of course let's go ahead and let's jump straight into the video. Now, of course, looking at this big run in which we have been on over the last couple weeks has been absolutely amazing. Not only that, though, most recently we can see that there is still a good form of healthiness within this run to the top side on some of these four hour corrections, right? We can see that the price starts to work its way up. We'll see these smaller corrections to allow some of our short term hourly, four hourly indicators to reset before continuing towards the top side. Most recently, you can see that over the last eight hours, we did get this huge push once we broke out of this descending slash falling triangle you can see here that we went into this descending triangle we saw a beautiful breakout towards the upside we cleared this key level of resistance and are now on the way towards the top side now something we do need to be aware of is that VeChain has a tendency to revisit levels of resistance once it breaks out of a consolidationary pattern I don't know why that's just what it does a lot of cryptos do it and VeChain is included there so at any given point what that means is we could expect to see the price to come back towards eight uh, eight cents eight uh, point zero eight one four it wouldn't surprise me at all to maybe even see this happen look to establish support here <clears throat> before eventually continuing or of course failing that support and starting to trail off towards something more of an ascending wedge or something of that nature okay so in the short term this thing does look decent i would expect to say that 814 is not out of the question and that seeing a fall towards that level just a little bit more of a percentage fall from here would not surprise me at all but what i am paying more attention to at this point is the long term and what we are seeing on the daily charts okay now, the reason that this is so important to me at this point is because we are seeing VeChain make an amazing move, but it does seem as if it's getting a little bit overextended to the point that we may need to see a bit of a reset. You guys see here how on the shorter time frames, when we start to really extend and we start to really do good right here, boom, we need to see kind of this cool down. It's something that I'm looking to see happen on the daily charts as well, where we do get something of a cool down here, whether it be a consolidation or a bit of a pullback, okay? You can see here that as VeChain starts to edge towards the center of this channel and we start to really make forward upward progress, we do typically see these pullbacks towards these key levels of resistance and confluence. And so for that reason, I am starting to get a little bit wary of this run in which VeChain is on right now, as I think it would serve it quite well to see a bit of a reset, cool down, and pullback before working its way back up towards the top side of this key um the key resistance of this wedge right because at the end of the day the whole goal right now is to get out of this wedge we don't want to come back up to 12 cents and then boom crash straight back down towards three cents no we want to work our way out we want to break out hold it and start to finally continue what v chain has been known for v chain used to be known for amazing gains throughout may 20 and you know from may 2020 all the way to 2021 i mean this thing was a rocket and we want to continue that but we have to do it in a healthy way and the healthiest way to do so is to allow a bit of a cool down at this point to where we are ready and the bulls are ready to take on the battle that does lie at this key level of resistance now if we look at some things let's pull up some uh indicators here let's look at our rsi let's look at our macd let's see what they're doing if you look at the daily charts let's go ahead and turn this moving average off for a second we are in a situation in which we usually will see the bull start to cool down get exhausted and finally start to see the price roll slash pull back every single time that vchain gets towards this area whether it be here here each one of these times back here or even up here we can start to see that these moves would cool down v chain does interact very strongly with the 70 level on the rsi in the sense that that is typically where the bulls will start to get exhausted so considering the fact that we are seeing it work its way up to this key area of confluence here i actually am under the belief that unless it just rockets somehow which is always possible straight through this key level of resistance that we are going to start to see these indicators relaxing and cooling down which looks like a consolidation or a bit of a pullback back as you guys can see even whenever we were back here let me show you guys an even better example of when it was just continuing towards the top side we would see time and time again that once we got overextended right here for example we would see this pullback here we would see this pullback here we would see this pullback 
over and over and over again throughout these runs it needs to reset and although these don't look substantial whenever you're zoomed out when you zoom in i mean this is a pullback right here of 40 plus percent now do i think it's going to drop that much of course i can never know but i think it could drop up to 20 percent before consolidate for multiple days before allowing itself to continue to be able to be ready for a test up towards this key level of resistance okay now if we look at something like the macd i do like the fact that we are still seeing this continuation towards the top side but i am expecting that at the moment that we do see any sign of weakness we will start to see this roll over so we will keep an eye on that but this shows that there is still that bullish momentum in the you know more of a long-term sense as well now if we look at something like the four hour let's go ahead and zoom in here one thing you can see is that we did get that first initial um, death cross here and unless we are capable of working ourselves back up above this level it wouldn't surprise me at all to see something of this nature happen we see that happen quite often right in which we will see the first cross, the bounce, the death cross. The first cross, the bounce, the death cross. And it, it does happen quite often. The first cross, the bounce, the death cross. Okay. So do be on the lookout for the four hour MACD. That thing does seem as if it likely will cross back towards the downside again, unless we do see again, just a massive rally towards, you know, uh, 16 cents, which would be absolutely ridiculous. So with all of those things said, um, I am on the lookout and I am paying very close attention to this thing. I do like the fact that it is making amazing moves. It has set the new higher high. Of course, we did see a very obvious trend break earlier earlier in the month and so for all of those reasons it has made all of the confirmations necessary to say that this retest up here is very likely as long as the market does allow but getting there again i am expecting some turbulence and i'm not expecting this thing to continue straight forward so my personal game plan is that unless this thing is capable of going back up and clearing 10 to 80 and getting back above this key area of confluence in which we saw resistance here we saw support here we saw support and resistance here we were bouncing off of this area for multiple events and we do have this um let's go out to the weekly we have this 50 week uh 50 week simple moving average sitting right at this 1080 level as well for all of those reasons if we're able to clear this level i may say hey we're very likely going to come back up to retest this and then we need to change our strategy up a little bit but i am under the belief that we are going to see this thing slow down reach resistance and cool down within the next couple of days at this pace and so for that reason i am holding off a little bit i'm not buying v chain at this exact moment my last purchase was actually back in december so for that reason i'm just going to kind of relax let it calm down let it cool down let those indicators slow it down a little bit and then we will go ahead and start to make some buys and accumulations now in the long term i am under the belief that um v chain is in a position to see some growth okay the reason i say that is because we look at things like um our weekly macd for example we just got this bullish cross for the first time in a very long time the last time we got that bullish cross was actually going to be back here when we saw this beautiful retest towards the upside and before that the last time we saw the bullish cross was way before this run happened and so for that reason we are entering into to bullish territory on a macro based perspective it's just up to v chain to continue that momentum and not fail it as we did back here now if you look at something like the weekly rsi you can see a clear case of divergence forming in which we put in this macro low and it does seem as if we're putting in a macro low here on a higher perspective but on the rsi we have a low and a lower low that's a case of bullish divergence would say that the bears are struggling and getting much more exhausted way higher in the price than in relation to our rsi here so considering the fact that many of our indicators on the longer wider time frames point to bullishness i would say that i am expecting bullishness for v chain in the long term over the next couple weeks over the next couple months but on the shorter time frame on the daily the midterm i would like to see these indicators reset because at this pace i'm not sure that if we get up to this key level that we will be able to break it because the bulls will get exhausted and so from there we may see a pullback or we may see a long layer of consolidation before eventually seeing that breakout and i don't like to buy in those type of situations okay so with that said that's kind of my take that's my perspective i know a lot of people right now are like oh v chain's going to 25 dollars or things of that nature i'm just always the one who tries to provide you guys with my honest opinion my honest opinion says it looks a little bit overextended it looks as if it needs to cool down and I'm, while we're under ten dollars and eighty cents or 0.10.8 we are in a position in which we do need to kind of see the price relax because we do have this key level of macro resistance above us so if you guys want more v chain content please do let me know i can make this more of a every every other day or every day upload it's totally up to you guys just let me know down in the comment section below but with that being said i will see you guys in the next video peace